Visit blackoutx.com slash Doug for your special offer. everybody got two guests today very excited two old friends of mine one of them's been on the show before one of them's a first timer give it up everybody in this room for Morgan Murphy and Todd Glass <laughs> Todd's very seem very not high right now I'm being well behaved and uh, minding my manners okay I don't know what that's about, but uh, <laughs> thanks for doing that. Uh, Morgan Murphy, you guys, if you don't uh, know her stand-up comedy, you should uh, check it out. What's the new yeah. special called? It's called Irish Goodbye. It's on uh, Netflix mm -hmm. and uh, the iTunes. I've seen uh, your face there on the Netflix. Uh, yeah. you know, selected for Douglas or whatever, and I just scroll, scroll right, right by it. No, I, I like seeing it there, and I'm going to watch it someday. You did that at uh, Meltdown Comics I did. here in L.A.? I did. Nice. And you, uh, you're also a, a writer for television. I write on, uh, yes, on TV shows. Yeah. You you're, you're write on that show, Two Broke Dick Girls? Two Broke Dick That's Girls what is it. what I write on. <laughs> Because I love the expression broke dick. And, um, <laughs> and Todd, of course, uh, you've been on in the studio, and you also were at Largo. Yes. And uh, both times you seem to get too high. So that's why I'm excited to have you back, because that's, that's a fun thing. Well, it's, it's, it's fun to be able to do that. You right. know, usually you have to limit yourself. You go, OK, I think I've had enough. This is an opportunity to go. Just go crazy. Go crazy. Also, yeah. you know, every time he gets high, he goes, I'm too hot. Yeah. No, that's like, Todd's MO. For ten, I don't, always, I've known you so long, know, and but, I've never heard you not say that. But I, that, first of all, that, that, is, that is very true. You son of a bitch, I told you to watch your fucking mouth. You're Sorry. never not um, You're never not uh, too uh, high. <laughs> no, the, the only time it didn't happen to me is uh, when I was smoking pot about a year ago. You know, you, you realize, I smoke seven days a week, and it wasn't affecting me. So I went back to like three days a week, at night, three and uh, it's back and then when to you be, do it, you get really high. Yes, yeah. it's, it's back to what it used to yeah. be. So tolerance goes down. Yeah, my tolerance goes down. It just means once in a while you're like, eh, do I really need to smoke tonight? But three nights a week, that's a lot of pot smoking for me. That's good. It's still good. Sure. So I haven't had any in two days. So. Now you both are over 18 years of age, correct? Well, mm -hmm. there's the thing. Okay, so each of you get one of these, oh. and you can unwrap it right now because we'll have a ceremonial smoke together right at 4:20. These are from our friends at Blackout X. And they are awesome vape pens. They last for about 300 hits. What? You can put oil or uh, or wax in it. You know who'd like that? My mom. She'd go, oh. Oh, that's a lovely, <laughs> oh, lovely. 300, that is enough, I what think. What a beautiful invention. <laughs> Um, Blackout X? Yeah. And, Thank uh, you, Blackout X. You know what? I don't take that for granted that I get a present. When, when else? Who else gives me presents? Blackout X, you're the yeah. best. Can you get a tight? Can you can you get a like a, put that sound get effect in when I wink? Clink. Um, you don't have to charge a battery on it. It's not uh, the, the odor of the smoke isn't bad. Like I I smoked a lot of it in a hotel room and didn't seem to get in any <laughs> trouble. And uh, if you visit blackoutx.com/doug, they've got a special three for one of these. They're usually 15 bucks each. Three for one? That's They're 900 e puffs. Yeah, and there's no code needed uh, th on this one. You just have to go there right now because last week with our special offer, they sold out and uh, had to restock up to uh, prepare for this week. So get them before they run out. Is, is that your the, phone? Is the message there. That's my, uh, that means it's 419. You might recall that from the last time you were on the program. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, I also have a show tonight, so this is like my thing. Will I be able to perform? Where's your show? Let's promote it. Yeah. Oh, tonight my show is it. I'm not kidding you. My favorite new theater in the entire world, and I have a hard time saying it. It's the. Uh, it's ah, ah, damn it. It's on La Brea and Melrose Light Lycrin. I'm saying it wrong. I will find I out in the break. No. Yeah, yeah. Look it up. Look Daniel up. Daniel Kellison on the case. It's 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 not only the coolest theater in the world, but the backstage is awesome. The whole lyric? experience, the Lyric Theater. There yeah. you go. Lyric. It's yeah. Tough it's tonight word, at eight thirty. To me, Dave. Say. I know. It's, I should be able to figure that. Out. <laughs> it's me, Rory Scovel, David Keckner, and two other really really funny people. It's going to be awesome. That's tonight at eight thirty. Yeah. Tickets are still available. So if you're watching this live stream here in Los Angeles, 
And go, I'll be go can check I plug it out. where I'll be later tonight. Sure, you're f traveling LAX. somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Where are you? If somebody sees me at LAX. Yeah, if you see her at LAX, uh, you know, hit her up to go to the like little smoking area yeah. with this thing and have a puff. Ah, it's good water. It's 420, you guys. Let's smoke. Oh, you just do it? Mm -hmm. It's just already oh, really? in there? Oh, well, it's already got oil in it. That's going to be nice. I got a book coming out, Top Glass Situation. <clears throat> June 3rd. So when people pick it up at a bookstore, they're like, what is, what is this, a Todd Glass situation going on with this book? Do you press a button or you just no, do it? No, just do it. Just take a hit. And you, like I said, you, get, you can get 300 puffs out of it <coughs> before, uh, before tossing it aside. Oh, and then you, oh, so it's just disposable. That's yeah, all. Just get rid of it. That's a really Super great light. idea. Travels, um, travels nicely, like I didn't have any issues with it in my uh, carry-on bag. Can I tell you, I'm not even joking around. Why, I, you know, I don't get any money for saying this. Every time I try one of these things, it, it's always something. And I go, I just want to go and get smoke and blow it out. Right. right. And that's exactly what happened. Yeah. People go, oh, in these you don't <laughs> see smoke. Or, oh, you have to wait or hold it down. Go fuck every other one that's not this. <laughs> because somehow this company figured out, oh, you go like this. Mm. Then you go, there. That's what you fucking do. What's the name of the company again? Blackout X. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. I, gotta, really I, really, good. I honestly got to get one of these for my mom. Does your mom smoke pot? For okay, real? she doesn't, but the last time <laughs> I was in Connecticut where she lives, I smuggled some and got her high, and she loves it. I don't know oh. if I'm supposed to say that. <laughs> Why can't you say that? I don't know. Maybe she doesn't Just want don't people give to give out her name and address. It should be fine. <laughs> I've she makes her want to dance. Really? Yeah. I gave her a little I gave her a little pop and she was like, I don't know. And then she started doing oh a little God. bit of this. And she goes, Let's wow. dance. And then we watched the butler. <laughs> Lee Daniels the butler, you <laughs> Lee mean. The butler. Um, let's talk about the strains that are available today in all of these uh, pipes, because we will uh, you know, we're gonna smoke the whole time. Uh, if you're going to LAX and the Lyric Theater, both of the, both of those places you can show up really high. Yeah. Have a good time. Uh, the uh, sativa that we will be smoking today is uh, called Green Crack. And uh, our friends at Leafly say it's an energizing strain, good for conversation and creativity. Oh, so we can have some of that today. And um, somebody, one of the reviews for that one was, I was so high that I accidentally wrote a review for a different strain. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's cute. And then an indica. Are either of you guys indica smokers? What's the energetic one? Uh, that's the sativa. sativa. Yeah. I like that. Usually. I think we have this I conversation every time you're on the <laughs> show too. I'm it. usually <laughs> an in indica smoker. Um, but yeah. I'll try. Oh, you I'll, usually like indica? Usually, but well, I'll, I'll, I'll do some a indica. sativa. You, you don't want to be too tired at the airport, yeah. though, do you? Does oil take longer to affect? Like, how long should I wait? Oh, because you don't think you're high yet. But genuinely, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a pretty mellow, mellow scene, but once you start smoking I mean, all this other stuff, you're gonna start smoking a lot of stuff, Todd. Yeah, yeah. you'll get you'll get plenty. Just high. take your time. We have an You want to get high enough to get hi higher. The indica is called a pink yeah. Kush, and um, yeah, I definitely want to load something up for you since you're an indica smoker, Morgan, because we they usually don't. Usually, people aren't. Yeah. Well, let me unload this one. Oh my God. Because <laughs> this is a this is a fun pipe to watch that? people smoke out of. It's just a three chamber. Can Oops. I give a shout out uh, to La Cienega Dental? I guess you just did. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do they uh, you let you smoke weed instead of uh, laughing gas? Or <laughs> that's not a bad is that idea. Why? I think so. I go to the dentist high. Do you really? Yeah. Don't. Doctor <laughs> doesn't watch this. Um, Doctor. Uh, the Pink Kush is an indica dominant hybrid with relaxing full body effects, and because of its potency, Leafly reviewers recommend using this strain if you have a high tolerance. Now let's go for it. All right, that's what I say. Where am I going to be tonight? And then a review on the site. Just trapped go. on an airplane. A review on the site says, uh, in the words of Saul Silver, that's the guy from Pineapple Express, oh. uh, hands down the dopest dope I've ever smoked. All right. So <laughs> that's a good review. I would just done that alone. My, um, I want my lighter. Like sometimes I had pot food about a week ago, and uh, the time where all of a sudden your legs start feeling like warm. Yeah. Does that yeah. happen to you? No. Wait, I'm gonna smoke this, and you'll you've get. Never heard, you've never heard of that? <laughs> your legs get warm? Yeah, you is feel like a body high. You're like, oh, it's. Oh yeah, yeah. Body. That's what they say. Is there the a body carb high. or anything? You just go for you, it. Uh, hey, by the way, fun group in the studio. Wake the, the fuck up. Let's have a little life in here. <laughs> 
They're just tied. Oh, you turn oh, it that way. Yeah. That way, yeah, and you just uh, pull you your finger your... on this baby. All righty. And then suck it out there, it and then looks light very it down sexual, here. Though. But just don't don't over light it, and also like lift your finger off after the smoke starts to get to the the uh, this chamber here. You've heard that before. And uh, somebody already walked <laughs> off with my lighter. I can't use this one. It's like was made for us for it, to joke? match our no. backdrop. <laughs> Todd wants but me to laugh. I've been told it's, it's very fine. toxic. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, use it to smoke. So who walked off of the purple lighter that was sitting here? Purple Could have been me. Lighter. Could have been me. What are you pointing at, Gabe? I'm a little bit country. A little <laughs> bit rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, comedy. Thank you. you know what I love about it? It's like all time. Thank you. Comedy is just sometimes just timing. It's like you just got to say it. Sometimes? Like, well, sometimes it's just well written jokes. Other times sure. it's pure timing. That's what's great. Like when it's a little bit of both, yes, that's that happens a lot. Sometimes it's just purely. Ugh. You're high already. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I fighting it? You know, I got a little paranoid. You could just say, Todd, don't talk about it, but. I got a little paranoid the last time, you know, you you, uh, you read some of the comments. It's fun, right? And you're yeah, it looks like a butt toy. I mean, not one I would use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big, big butt toy. You gotta have a big old butt. Um, do you read the comments on this show? I, I did in the first time on the, when on I did the YouTube it in the page or whatever? Yeah, I think you shouldn't do that. Todd, you should never no. read comments about no. anything. Because no. you're high, you're at the most vulnerable you can right. be. Right. If you're gonna let, who yeah. wants to get high and keep their guard up? The goal yeah. is, you, you get high, you let your guard down. Right. Sometimes you, there's a childlike thing that can come out of you. You've, but if you're willing to just say, okay, it's fun, then you read a comment and it's like, you motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. They're like, yeah. this pussy's not getting high, or this pussy can't handle his high. Right. Yeah. Or, or, they call you a pussy for it. <laughs> 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 but it's the, see, I don't, here's the problem, and my logical side gets it. That's such a small percentage of the audience. Most people that smoke, that's why they're okay to perform in front of. I, I really believe it because they're not drunk. They're they're usually gentle. They're patient. They're mm -hmm. they're a great audience, and they're not usually judgmental. So, but there's that. I don't know who they are. I think they're alcoholics that watch this show, and they fake like they're high, and then they write comments that only an alcoholic would write. Why you? Blah blah blah. It's not. That's a theory I have. It's, I'm not, late, I have a lot it's of late in the night for the day when this show starts in, in all time yeah. zones. Somebody could have, have a few pops, have yeah. a couple cocktails too. So I know if you write anything negative that you are sitting home as an alcoholic writing those comments. It's not the high people. High people are good people. You fucking drunk. <laughs> You sit at home, oh, I gotta write some negative comments and disguise myself as a high person. Then you vomit on your fucking wife and you'd go to bed. This is like the, this is the angriest episode. And I blame Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, Todd, that you wouldn't be able to get a word in with her on the show. Let's I'm do your high I history, we were, Morgan. I, oh, Let's high talk history. your high, okay. high history, yeah. Uh, well, you know, tell us about the, the starting times, like probably the, maybe the second time you smoked, because the first time was a, a non-starter. Um, did I, you get high the first time? I think I did. I honestly don't remember the first time I smoked, but oh, okay. I remember the first time I smoked like one of the first times I smoked, I smoked on campus at my college, and that was the first time I smoked like pub publicly. Yeah, and, yeah. And uh, and I used all of my like you have money on like a student card, you know, like to mm -hmm. go buy stuff to buy food for the week, and I just used all my food money for the week to buy a disposable camera at uh, at the student store. And so I have pictures of the whole time, basically my first time getting really high. And I'm wearing two different shoes in one of the pictures, and I was not high when I put my shoes on. So I clearly was already a, a, a you know, just a flight, a Are flighty you, lady. Where, where can they see those pictures? Are they posted anywhere? No, I'll put some up. That'd be awesome. I'll put some on the internet. Go to her Twitter, Morgan underscore Murphy. Yeah. I like that, thank you. And I'm you. sorry I didn't talk, I'll talk more now. If you I was just know. joking around. Oh. Do what you do what you do naturally. Like, yeah. pretend, pretend the three of us are sitting around your house mm -hmm. and I'm about to have a sneezing fit because you're fucking cats. And, yeah. uh, you know, just like the old days. <laughs> I don't know, I've never had cats. You've lived places oh, where lived, there are cats. Yeah, yeah, I lived with a little yeah. girl who had a cat. Mm -hmm. But you lived with a little girl? Yeah, a little girl and a cat. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird roommate. Yeah, she oh, was, she was Craigslist cute. Craigslist listing. I'm 12 and need a roommate. <laughs> <laughs> My grown-up roommates never paid rent. She didn't really, was, there was no difference between her and the rest of them. I'm 12 and I need a roommate. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you know what? I'm very happy right now. Oh, that's uh, the good. The temperature is not, I thought it was going to be hot. I'm it's perfect. It's a warm day here in uh, sunny, Southern California, and it's um, the nice, we're in a nice building, but it doesn't have the greatest air conditioning right now. So uh, It's all good. So just watch Todd sweat in a few minutes, you guys. No, I feel great. It's, it's so coming. weird to it's get um, high. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to give away that, you know, we're not in the middle of nowhere, but like high near computers and stuff, like near like office space. There's people space. working right there, yeah. It's, yeah, it's that's fantastic. weird. And we're in our own I little like world. It. We should maybe close those blinds when we do this show. <laughs> 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 Pretend we're doing something wrong back here at least. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's a whole office of people, I don't even know what they do here, but they've been, it's uh, nice. they've been very nice. We moved we a can, few weeks we ago. We can like fax stuff if we want to. This we used to be exciting. over at the, you went to the other place yeah. over at uh, the Culver Studios, and um, that was, you know, movie lot or whatever, NTV, they do Cougar Town there. But we used to be over there, and then we moved here, but, you know, they just moved the set to this new spot. So the show looks the same, but one person tweeted me at the transition, oh, the lighting looks a little different this week. Jesus. I was like, that guy, that's a fucking eagle eye right there. Yeah, yeah. do you want to hit something else, Tom? Yeah, I wouldn't mind Please. hitting something that was energetic. <coughs> you like this? Oh, yeah. You know you should do? Put, put a five-hour energy in there. And then you would maybe it would work in with the I don't know. I don't. Let's find out. You know let's, what I mean. Uh, Instead of the water, put five hour. Let's energy. call science and ask them. <laughs> you have a lighter. If that'll work. Do you you yeah. point it to a. You got one right in front of you. I, that's like my way. You just of don't want to use the pink lighter. Is that what's going on? Do you have a bowl of candy? <laughs> and that's my way of saying, bring me the candy. Because it sounds rude. When I was little, uh, my mom said I shouldn't go over people's houses and ask for candy because that's all I thought about was candy. Uh -huh. Even then, and uh, it hasn't changed. She goes, don't go over people's houses and ask for candy. So I would go over people's houses and go, I don't have any candy. And then it wouldn't say anything. I would, again, I go, I don't have any candy. They would go, do you want some candy? I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I didn't ask for any, so I got a, I got a, uh, figured out a loophole. I don't have Who any smart, candy. Who's smart, me or my mom? <laughs> She was smart. I couldn't do that either. She explained. She yeah. She probably told you you're still trying to get candy. She goes, you're manip. You're, she. Yeah. I don't remember this story. My brother Spencer told it to me, so that's how <laughs> I know it. Is he still for hire? Yes. <laughs> that's why I mentioned his name. That's a real old joke. <laughs> I don't even uh, smoke anymore, and I don't know if I need to, to be honest. I want to wait yeah, till let me be smoke what Come I smoke. Come on, you pussy. Oh, <laughs> 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 want to do our bit later? You waste of you space. You're a waste of the spacement. Let me wait a little. Okay. Let me wait like How about five now? minutes. How about okay, now? Okay, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's like, this is like a treat, and it's, yeah. and, a, and it's like being near Disneyland and asking someone, do you want more of Disneyland? Yes. Of course. Yes, of course I want more of Disneyland. You but know? sometimes, you know, eight or nine times on the Matterhorn is enough. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it doesn't hurt to stop doing something that's fun. That's true, too. That's true, too. But too. Morgan, are you stopping? Are you no, I'm gonna keep high? going. Hit no, that something was else. Fun. Uh, pick any pipe that you'd like. And, Speaking, uh, remember when we went to Magic Mountain twice high? Mm-hmm. Two, two weekends, weekends in, in a row. row. That's right. We that finished these others. Sandwiches. <laughs> uh, what's that line from? That's How so funny. How come we didn't invite Todd? I totally Todd. stole that line from Do you something. know why we didn't invite Todd? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I think we just went the two of us because it was such a, you know. Why? Arrested development. Let's think about it. What about Arrested Development? That's what it's from. Finish oh, that line is oh, from yeah. there. God damn it. Um, all right, so uh, we're going to finish each other's sandwiches while you guys uh, watch some wacky commercials from our friends right here at Jash, and we'll be right back. I was in a rewrite, and Frank was in there, who was one of the head writers, and they were doing a thing about a talk show, and I had nothing in the show for like week after week. So Bonnie uh, Turner stood up, and they go, Bonnie's gonna stand up and ask a question and say, my son, blah, blah, blah. And I go, can I be your son just standing next to her? And Al Frank goes, there's no lines! I go, I don't care, I'll just finish. He goes, how desperate are you? I'm like, pretty desperate. Like, I want to be on TV so people believe I was in Sarah Lyle. Like, no one even believes I'm in New York. Like, I keep going, SNL. They're like, I, I've never, there's no proof. Oh, hello, Catherine. I'm calling because I'd like to come back and work in the office. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay. Hold on and let me ask everybody. 
Catherine wants to come back and work in the, work in the office. She does? What does everybody think? Catherine can come back. She can come back. Yeah. I like Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Hi. Yes. <laughs> When That's shows, the most activity yeah. there was during a break on the show ever. Like, there's a bunch of people standing around, a bunch of things happening, and someone uh, reapplied my uh, it's my fun. lip gloss. Yeah, so somebody just special. put makeup on, and I didn't, you don't you're talking like you. Oh yeah, I forgot that somebody was. You know, you're so into talking this way that someone's putting. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I knew what I was saying. I just didn't. That what just happened will be even fun, even more fun for the people who just listened to the show. <laughs> Because you don't even get to see his confused hand gestures. <laughs> they just think he had a stick, stroke. Stick <laughs> like, yeah, he's just like, I, 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 and then I, uh, <laughs> it does make it sound a lot crazier yeah. without the, <laughs> seeing him pointing. <laughs> the hands really sell it. Like I don't know what's happening right now. It, it, but when you're listening to it, it's just like word <laughs> what. Uh. All right, we have uh, 2,232 people watching us live no. right now. Yeah. Wow. So that's Hello. A, that's a fun number. What's our record? Like 700,000 or? Hmm. Um, Did you ever think of uh, picking a person that watches your show and watching it with them, like they get to be in studio with you on a screen behind you or something? That could well, that's be fun. weird. That's an idea that now I'm going to get a thousand tweets about. That's a great idea, and I'm going to be that person. <laughs> that's a great new Todd character is just high producer. Yeah. And you just go, like, hey, uh, you ever think already, about, like, already, doing your job? We already have one of those. Um, but, but, like, uh, maybe there's a guy behind you while you do your job. <laughs> But yeah, there's a you know there's there, there's fun innovations that could be brought to this Todd for sure. But I love I, what you're but doing. But I like how simple yeah. it is. That, that's what yeah, I yeah, that's yeah. what I said. <laughs> <laughs> this is how but how meta things get sometimes. Somebody on Twitter wrote to us, uh, "Good tokes on at Doug's bubble pipe," and that is from a guy or a girl who started an account called Doug's Bubble Pipe. Oh. So this pipe now has a Twitter account <laughs> that some joker is running. And uh, so it'll be interesting to see. I hope it's not, I hope, you know, that the Bubble Pipe isn't racist or something. <laughs> <laughs> The bubble pipe doesn't start saying shit. I'd rather it didn't. I might have to smash it on the show. Might have to kill it. Um, and the then bubble else... pipe's like super into the NRA. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just retweets it all day. Uh, at John Laryngitis, uh, so he, he, it's a good thing he can type on the internet because he can't speak. He uh, he wrote, "Where'd you get that sweet Leafly shirt?" Uh, well, I got it from Leafly, of course. My sweet Leafly shirt. Uh, with the granddaddy purple on it. Um, we were doing your high histories. We were talking about Disneyland. Oh, we Magic were talking Mountain. about Magic Mountain. Yes. Morgan and I went two Sundays in a row. Mm -hmm. The first because it was Super Bowl Sunday and we thought that'd be a dodge, like go to the amusement park at Super Bowl Sunday and no one will be there. Right. And then the next week we went back because they give you a free pass so you can come back the next week. And it was kind of rainy. And it was rainy, and we thought, well, no, there really won't be, be anybody there, and we were right. But then some of the best rides were closed because <laughs> of the rain. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Now, is this a result Should of trying too try hard to not cough? Is yes, that what you did? Yes, exactly. Yeah, you gotta just relax and just. Let it, I could have just coughed a little through. bit and it would have been over with, but I went. And then I vomited. Are you you like, do a little bit have a look of a guy who'd be like cast to do that kind of cough, like in a commercial or something. Like, oh, you mean like yeah. close up of my face? <laughs> 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 Want to look like this? <laughs> and then they or would say this, and then they cut to a supermodel in a bikini. <laughs> <laughs> With the big, they get, maybe gain a little more weight around here. <laughs> yeah, stop, stop doing it, Todd. You're gonna look awful after a while. I know I don't like the way it looks already. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> which, by the way, well, which somebody's gonna capture that frame Should from the one? show and don't. put it on the internet. You know what? If that happens to me, I hope all they do is nonstop bug you about my TV idea. If someone's going to. You're worried about. That. That's the meme, a picture of you going, yeah. and then it says, everybody bug Doug Benson. Yeah. That's everybody dug bug Benson. That's what I feel I look like 
in you just every go, picture. I know, Everybody, you should just write, I know you see this, Todd, underneath it, because he's going to see it. He goes on the message boards. I don't go on the message boards. I'll look at tweets. Yeah? I'll look. That's what I'll look okay. at. Okay. Yeah, message boards I don't go on. And you know what? I don't need to because it... The fact that it's not part of my rhythm, I just don't even have trouble not doing it. All I need is to go on message boards. I'd kill myself. Todd, <laughs> Todd, before you kill yourself. What's in this? What's your favorite cake? That's sativa. That's the, the uh, green I, crack. I have a, a cake thing to talk about. He's got a cake thing, you guys. Okay, what's what going you, on? Who are you, Jim Gaffigan? <laughs> is, something, is everything all right in the studio? I like to reference just, everyone it. Just, at home people like are excited it. about cake. What's, yes. your, okay. what's your fucking cake story? A long time ago, I figured out that... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're going to talk to us. Tell your fucking story. I know. Uh, <laughs> 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 just not even trying Spit to get it the fuck it. out, fuck Todd. Uh, Quit fucking around. What are you, high? Boring. That would be a great host. If I had a talk show, I don't want to do it like with bits like that where you could just like have someone talking about their new movie. You go, boring. Are you really not talking about cakes, dude? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Proof. Watch this. So I realized if you like ice cream cake, uh, mm -hmm. I thought one day, I go, the cake isn't really the best part of it. It's just that you like the ice cream cake. There's something about the ice cream and the cake and cutting mm -hmm. it. Because you can take any cake and put ice cream on top of it, right? Ice cream and cake and ice cream and cake. Ice cream and cake and ice cream and cake. <laughs> that was a TV ad for a while, for Bass Okay, So anyway, go ahead. I figured out that this makes a great ice cream cake, one? and it really is easy. I go buy, you could really do it with a lot of different types of cakes. You know those rings they sell, like at Vaughn's, they're cinnamon rings? Mm -hmm. Like a blunt that. cake or whatever? Yeah, you can get that, but I've done it with that. But Saturday, I was going over to my manager's house, I did it with a carrot cake. Let me tell you something. It's as good as you would fucking think. So I just get a carrot cake, regular one, mm -hmm. got it back to the house, just took a knife, uh -huh. you know, you cut it half, what do you call it, this way, you know? Sure. Take the top off, I take the ice cream that I put in the microwave for about 10 seconds, uh -huh. just so it really just spreads on, it takes three uh -huh. seconds, you go, then you spread it all the time, put the top back on, put the top back on, put it, put, yeah, I know, I make it sound really dry, really <laughs> gross. I, you lost me at like going to your managers on a Saturday. No. Very... Yeah. No, no, but you, fun, let's not. Fun life you lead there, Todd. Let, let's not miss the, 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 the great part of the story, please. Is uh, that you can make your own ice cream cake. No, you, and then you put it back on top, put it in the freezer. You do it, and you're going to be like, shut the fuck up. It's, it's real, really, really He delicious. was like that like two minutes ago. Oh, oh, <laughs> At my story. <laughs> no, I don't, I'm kidding. I love it. That's know. good. I'm sure people are going to do it. And uh, tweet to at Todd Glass and let, let him know how, that it was as great as he made it out to be. I'm or, surprised. or tell us about the you know accidents that happen, like when you you know cut your hand open trying to cut a whole cake in half. Put the vanilla ice cream on top. Put it back on. Put it in the freezer. Take a slice. I just really like that ice cream cake that you just buy. It's not as good. It's ice cream cake. It's not as good. I they brought me one a few weeks ago here and I didn't I didn't have any of it. You know how even the worst carrot cake in the world is pretty fucking good, right? It's moist. Picture that with ice cream just layered in between. It's like the worst carrot cake in the world probably isn't moist though. It's probably terrible. It's still like, pretty moist. That's, that's probably where they. Point. That's probably where they went wrong with the worst. <laughs> <laughs> no, the worst. Even the shitty carrot cake is great. You know what I mean? Like you never. I never had a bad piece of carrot cake. I just some are better than others. I got this and we'll person. Be back. The, the person that asked that is probably so happy with themselves. <laughs> well, that really. That, that provided a lot of entertainment. You know, what? favorite cake. Morgan didn't even get to answer the question. She, well, she has an opportunity right now. What's your favorite cake? Um, and for I the like next segment, send questions with at Morgan underscore Murphy and, uh, you know, my name or whatever. I like the confetti, like, you know, Pillsbury, just the, the homemade, that oh, cake. You know what I mean? Confetti. The confetti cake with the Shh. canned frosting. That's I what love, I like. I think we all are in agreement that we all just love, del you know, delicious crap. It's so good, but it's so much better than anything from the store. There's nothing. I'm on a 10-day no sugar thing right now. This is day three. What? Where I'm going to not have sugar for 10 days. Not, no right? sugar at all. Yeah, it sucks. And what, yeah, for what reason? I like sugar a lot, it turns for just, out. Because it's in everything. For what, what's the reason you're doing it? Like uh, Because this movie, there's a movie called Fed Up. It's a documentary, and it's, a, it's about how the obesity problem is because they put sugar in everything. And how if you just cooked your own food at home, you wouldn't you wouldn't be you know you'd be able to keep a good size. You know you'd lose weight, and you know you still need to exercise, but it's not the emphasis on exercise that the America's had for a long time is is off, according to this documentary. Right. It sounded real to me, so I did it. So I'm like ten. I'm gonna go. I just like the next day, I was just like fuck it, ten days, no sugar, 
And the first day was horrible because I just couldn't find enough stuff to eat. But eventually, I kind of cobbled together this weird menu of things I'm eating, and, uh, and I'm going to do it for 10 days. I love that you can just uh, do so. I wouldn't. That's, that's well, harder we'll than see. you would think. Well, we'll see. I mean, that'll be that'll be might be the result. Is after five days, I might be like, I got to do that fucking carrot cake idea that Todd put <laughs> put in my head. I bet you. I have I have faith that you're going to be able to do it. You I do think the so. sober October or whatever thing, right? Mm-hmm. See. Yeah, a whole you month without power. alcohol. Sure. Next week's show will be uh, ten days exactly. So we'll see. You're kind of one of the right. healthiest people. There isn't people a show I next week, so. <laughs> it kind of is. We're off for a week, so. I'll try to stay off sugar until we're back. June. What's the date? There's truth to what you said, but yet. Oh, Jesus. It's on my last card. I Doug's the healthiest person we know. I, you are. What you do you mean be, the healthiest? Like, okay, you wouldn't look at think. Me. I know, but you wouldn't think. You wouldn't think that you'd be the person where I go, June like. Um, June 11th, yes. Oh, June 11th. Mm -hmm. I go, yeah, oh my God, like what comedian did I used to hike with all the time? Doug Benson. What comedian's like sober in October? Doug Benson. What comedian's not doing sugar right now? Like, Who always raced you up the stairs at the arc light? That's true. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I try to be active, because like, imagine if I wasn't active, how fucking fat I'd be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> That's the thing, I see fat people all the time that are working jobs where they are lifting and throwing things all day long. How do they stay fat? It's because there's too much sugar in their diet. It's not, watch this movie, Todd. It's called Fed Up. Doug, you just came up with an idea for a movie. What's that? I it's, eat too much sugar for a month? No. <laughs> <laughs> Picture, it's, it's a horror movie, right? It's based on an old I try to get movie. diabetes in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Put some dramatic music in there. <laughs> I love it. Great no, idea, Todd. I see, I see fat people. That's what you just said. That could be like, you know, right. guys, I see fat people. Somehow this person sees fat people. I love, it's a I love Todd's movie. description of the sixth sense. You know where the guy, the guy says that? You knew what I meant. It's like a little kid says it. You knew what I meant. <laughs> I did. That's all that I tried I did to know do is mean. get people to know what I mean. So if you know what I mean, I did a good job. I used to like to joke around about how you'd think Bruce Willis would figure out he was dead when he has to use an automatic uh, towel dispenser in the men's room. <laughs> <laughs> he just put his hand under it and one won't come out. I think I'm fucking dead. I might be dead. <laughs> I say that to myself every time they don't work, because they don't work 50% of the time in airports. You're standing there with wet hands, and I'm like, oh, shit, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. That flight did not work out. <laughs> I'm not in the airport. I'm in uh, purgatory or some shit. Oh, <laughs> that is a new life enjoyment that I get to have. That you know I'm going to do the same thing now. You're right. About half the time, they don't work. You get yeah, to go. Yeah, same with oh, the fucking faucet. Yeah. When you have to go under to get the faucet yeah, or dead. under to get the soap. I'm dead. Half the time, I have to use three different ones to get every single thing to work right. right. That means you you're not you think you're dead, but then you're not dead. Uh, we should smoke some more, you guys. We're, we're really we're really slacking with all this joking around. <laughs> um, this one's a fun one. It's very stylish. They call that the uh, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> you didn't Todd, even, you did you didn't smoke too much a, indica? Uh, you just, <laughs> Todd just fell asleep. You didn't That's even a, have a pun. It was yeah. just, yeah, just the timing. The, the guy falls the asleep, he saves himself. Oh. Uh, look at these cups. Uh. <laughs> uh, maybe he was going to say something funny. I don't know. Just a character <laughs> I'm working on. <laughs> now, I like these. Can I say as a, um, I'm a grown-up now? I Tom think. and I have always had fun together. Oh. <laughs> he goes, I don't want to tell the same story, but <coughs> did I tell the one about you with the hangers? Let's see what Morgan was talking about. Oh, right. no, no, no. I just have a question. Yes. Here we go. I'm a, I'm a, this is a, like, it, it, say I'm like a, a watcher, and this is like a write-in letter. Dear grown-ups who smoke pot, mm -hmm. I'm a grown-up who smokes pot, and sometimes I think this is a really nice thing to smoke pot out of, but I don't want it in my home because uh, I feel teenage-ish. No, that's why this table is covered in these things, is I just bring something new from home every week. This was somebody on the road gave me weed in a uh, little thing that uh, had my face and the heart and the weed thing, like my Douglas movies, but Douglas weed. So now that's going to sit right there for but a while. I feel while. like that's what makes these great. 
Not that I'm a spokesperson now oh, for the pens. What do you mean by these? But you mean these vape pens from Blackout X? Yeah, because you want to be, I have a, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily want um, large uh, marijuana uh, uh, paraphernalia around my no, this one is the bedroom smallest. Apartment. This might be the smallest. And did you see how that hit? I, it had been sitting there. You don't have to warm it up. You don't have to plug it in. You don't have to fuck around. You just like hit it, hit it, hit it. Eventually quit it. <laughs> See right there, that's a commercial. <laughs> like if they if they somehow took that little chunk and put Are it. Are you got, doing high producer again? Yes, I'm doing high producer. <laughs> but people at home know I'm right. Like if that was the ad right there, and leave this part in too, and then it goes black, and then it says, Phew. that was you know genuine. I don't know. Maybe we could sell it to somebody. <laughs> You're really to like this is a different side of you uh, when you're high. I haven't seen you be this helpful. <laughs> 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 that review was right. The view was right. It says that it it says that it stimulates creativity and sharing, I think, is what it said. <laughs> what do you how can you not that's so fucking funny. I'm conversation right. and creativity. It's no good one for else conversation. is laughing as hard as they should be at what he said. You guys, seriously, green crack. If you smoke green crack, you'll have a <laughs> green crack, you'll have a conversation like this one. He looks at me with a straight face. Never seen you this helpful. <laughs> Are we doing a recap already? Yes, that's what I do. <laughs> when you come over my house, what I do is. Let's I'm get one, right to the recap, right? One after it happened. In, I play memories and we all talk about remember when we just walked in? <laughs> remember we every remember. minute we look back. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's do a pot topic real quick here. Pot topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pot topic. This is um, according to new government data. According to data from the Goonies, uh -huh. uh, Denver's murder rate has dropped 52.9% since recreational marijuana uh, use was legalized in January. Yeah. That's good. They're saying it's like the, the numbers might not add up, but that uh, it's, still, it's still just another thing to say to show that legalization in uh, Colorado hasn't turned everything to shit. In fact, it's made it one of the most wonderful places in the world. Oh. We've got two minutes. Yeah. And a video leaked today showing two members of the boy band One Direction. Do you like them, Morgan? Uh, I, know, I know who a couple of them are. So I think that <laughs> well, two of them, do you know them. which, you probably know which two smoked weed then. They were smoking uh, weed and talking about what? it. What? One Direction, you know that band? Yes, I was acting like I couldn't believe. What? What have they done? Uh, they were in Peru, where it's legal to own up to eight grams for personal use. So it's like it was legal there, so let's do this. It's probably Perry Styles. You think? I don't That's the only one I know. I thought I knew two. And then at the bottom of this card it says, let's get them on the show. <laughs> so let us know if you want the two guys from One Direction to come on. I'm guessing that their management or whatever is all up their asses about this one video they made in Peru. So making another smoking video is probably not going to happen. But while we're at it, you guys, let's get Miley Cyrus in here. Let's get, yeah. yeah. Let's get famous people in. I mean, you guys, uh, you know what? Fuck that. Let's get my friends I in I saw Miley's show in uh, London. It was really fun. Was it? Yeah, I loved it. She's it a great. showman, right? She's fantastic. She, I don't and know. She's was, so <laughs> into weed. Like, she's, she's got pot leaves on everything she wears and stuff. She's, she's cool. I, I actually like, very briefly met her, and she was really, uh, she was super nice. I don't know what else Did to say. Did you smoke with her? No, she was okay. just very, uh, Let's play a quick game. You guys are going to love this game. We're running out of time, but I want to play it. Let's play a game. Pot quiz hop shot. I think my cue was just bad. I think I should have said the title of the thing instead of just saying, let's play a game over and over again. Todd, here's the game. You lose if you talk. Go. So Morgan, what else, uh, where are you traveling to? Why do you have to go to uh, LAX? I'm um, going to New York, gonna fly out there, hang out for a week uh, before my job starts. So I'm just uh, going for for fun and then before doing some Before the two broke girls are broke once again? Uh, yeah, before they're broke again. But I'm gonna do a show with Jeff season gonna have a subtitle, More oh. Broke Than Ever? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you should do that on TV series, like, you, you know, I guess some series have, like, titles for a season. Do they? Maybe. They do for each episode, I yeah. guess. 
Uh, any hoozle. So that's uh, <laughs> you're going to be in uh, New York for a week, you say? Yeah, for a week. Um, Sunday I'm doing a show with Jeff. I'm going to just do a little spot on Jeff Ross's show at Caroline's, which should be fun. Yeah, um, that should be fun. And um, maybe love another it. spot or two and hang out. All right. I love so. it. I'm going. I'm gonna go. I'm going out that way. I'm doing a Douglas movies uh, uh, out there and uh, lots of other stuff. So I'll. Uh, Anybody good on the Douglas? I'll hit movies? you up. Oh, like a always guess. the best guests. Yeah. 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 New York especially is great because I always get great people on there, and I think the New York crowd's gonna be excited because I got some uh, like kind of favorites that aren't aren't New York uh, acts. I've said too much. Who do you think? I've said too much. Like who are your? Um, I don't. I don't want to flip the tables, but who are your favorite comedians right now? I'll flip this table right now. Who are my favorite comedians? Yeah, that's like so, who are that's so hard your to favorite answer comedians that. like working that's right so now? That's so tough to answer because like I'm friends with so many of them, and some of my closest friends I don't think they're funny at all. Yeah. Like, I've had them on my shows, and they don't, they just say stupid shit the whole time. They get too high. Who, uh, like, who makes you laugh the hardest? <laughs> <laughs> this guy makes me laugh pretty hard. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty entertaining person to be around. Because this isn't just, like, now because cameras are rolling. This is Todd Glass, you guys. All the time. Can this I tell one he bit he used to do? Please, quickly, though, because really we have quickly. to go to a break. Todd used to do a guy who was, when he was afraid, he would eat, and uh, you'd pretend to hold him up, and he would start snacking, and he just built the bit so hard that you kept pretending to hold him up to where he would go to the refrigerator, take out all the ingredients for a sandwich, and make a sandwich <laughs> the whole you. time. You lose, Todd! <laughs> Todd just lost the game. The oh. Todd doesn't get to talk game, and uh, we'll, but he gets to talk in the next segment. We'll be right back. Wow. It took me three hours to get this wig on. You're going to look ridiculous. You can't interview him like this. Go to the dressing room and tell him that we we're going to do the show in three hours. Um, hey. hey, how are you? Hey. It's uh, great to meet you. Uh, it's um, nice to see you. OK, ready? Uh, yes, okay. go ahead. Okay. <laughs> well, that's it? We're running a few hours behind. A few hours? So, wow, wow. I wish somebody would have told me that. What, you have like somewhere to be? Or? No, no, no. I just got to do something. Adam Egan, where have you been? <laughs> Turns out, in a jiffy, the wig came off. You get... Well, that was... that was entertaining. happening with Todd you could have stepped out during the commercial but not not after we came back I did that so it would look like you know oh, he rushed back right yeah, but you did it while you were already on already. camera oh they did see yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought they only showed the other part we have 2,462 views so uh, a lot more a lot more people uh, a lot more people jumped on and I hope you're as high as we are uh, <coughs> uh, what pipes haven't we smoked out of? I don't know. I think maybe the. Uh, what is this? Is this just a grinder? Or is this a. Oh. Um, this is a, um, what do you call it? A grinder. Yeah. A really high tech grinder that I love. You want to try this thing? Um, All right. And while you do that, I will mention uh, Todd's, Todd's plugs. Thank you. Todd's got a book, <laughs> book coming out. You were being quiet. It wasn't even a game. Uh, you got a book coming out on June third, uh, the Todd Glass situation, and uh, I've already heard great things about it. I've heard it's got a, a cover. And uh, thank you. Who writes the forward? Is there somebody that wrote like a forward or something in it? Mark Marin. Whoa. All right. You should probably mention that when you're trying to sell the book, because people will get it just for that. Hey, if that's all they're buying the book for, go fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> June 5 through 8, you're going to be at the Laughing Skull, Laughing Skull Comedy Club in Atlanta. And uh, 
That's a fun club if oh. you want to see Todd up close. It's like close up magic, but it's Todd talking. And uh, <laughs> place only seats like 60 people, I think, or 70 people. 85. 85. Not that I'm bragging, like, oh, I yeah, work bigger you know, than 65. No, it's 85, yeah. I just meant because I know exactly what it holds because I love that room. So you ask, how many does this hold? Paul Tompkins How many his... does the Nut Street Comedy Club hold? You know what? That's a small club. Like maybe, I think that's like 150 maybe. Oh, now you're guessing. T June 27th and uh, 28th, you'll be there. Yeah, Where, what, what city is that in? You know what, I forgot, so I didn't want to say it. North Carolina, I think. Really? It's a cool area. Charleston, maybe? No, it's not Charleston. Wilmington. Wilmington. Ooh, that's nice. Wilmington. Yeah, it's I don't a think cool I've never been to the Nut Street Comedy Club. It's a really cool, it's one of those clubs you get to. It's like a creatively run club. It's a, It's like fun to work. It's great. All right. We already know what Morgan's up to. The name of the special on Netflix is... Irish Goodbye. And uh, what would you guys review the uh, sativa that we smoked today, the green crack? Like, what would, what would your one-sentence review of that be? I can't remember which one that was. Perfect. That's, That's a great, great review. That's a great review. <laughs> I would say it worked. everything you want pot to do for you. And less. <laughs> That's, who would have that in their head? <laughs> Saturday, May 31st, I'm doing stand-up in Boston. That's this Saturday Ooh. at the Brighton Music Hall. Sunday, I'm interrupting a movie in Yonkers at the Alamo Draft House. Sunday night, uh, Morgan's got something going on. Go to both of those things. Yeah. Uh, June 5th, I'm in Columbus at the Funny Bone. And June 7th and 8th, I'm in Bloomington, Indiana at the Comedy Attic, uh, which seats about 170. And all of my dates are at DouglasMovies.com. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thanks for having uh, let's me. Get, let's get Gabe in here real quick and do a magic trick for you. That's your oh, present. That's awesome. Yeah, that's what, what you get for uh, shows, shows going along, but I'll allow it. Hey, guys. Hi. How are you going? Um, Morgan, Seem do you want nervous. to remember this? No, you don't have to be nervous. It's totally fine. No, it's you Tell seem me like a stop. nervous magician. Oh, a little bit sometimes. OK. <laughs> Tell me when to stop. Stop. OK, right there. Take a look at that card. Yeah. yeah show it to this. All right, Lacey's here. I like using fire with a lot of my tricks, so I'm gonna try something here. Sometimes I burn myself, though, but in this case, it doesn't hurt, because I don't know if you can see this. That's a seven, and that is a club. Does that check out? Yeah. Is that real? Does that really happen? Easy. Yeah, that's, yeah. Is that a trick? I mean, I know it is, but that's not what I meant. Like, how the fuck does that happen? I guess that's called magic. And I'm called an idiot. I don't believe in magic. Todd Glass, idiot, magic lover. That was, that was like... Morgan Murphy. I was, oh, what? Comedian, writer, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. That was awesome. And uh, no show next week, but we'll be back in two weeks. So we'll see you in next couple of Wednesdays. Sugar free. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash Doug Benson. Visit blackoutx.com slash Doug for your special offer.